The newest Pokemon TCG set, Fusion Strike, is officially hitting the shelves today. Here are the top five cards that you want to try to look out for when you're ripping those packs. What's going on Funhouse crew? Welcome back to the channel, TCG Funhouse, where we open up Pokemon cards, we talk about Pokemon cards, and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the newest, hottest Pokemon TCG set, Fusion Strike. That's right guys, happy release day for Fusion Strike, the set known as Mew. Because that's really the best Pokemon and the linchpin Pokemon of the entire set. But don't get me wrong, I am very, very excited about it. Mew is one of my favorite Pokemon. My favorite mythical, really not even close. And one of the most nostalgic Pokemon in the history of the entire genre. So, now that the set is out on your shelves, we're going to be talking about the top 5 cards that you want to hunt for when you're ripping into those booster packs. And it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun, guys, so let's go on this journey right now. But right before we start diving into the list, make sure you guys stay tuned to the very end of the video because we have an amazing Spice-tastic giveaway going on here on the TCG Funhouse YouTube channel. That's right, Celebrations! The previous hottest, most anticipated set before Fusion Strike. We are giving away some celebrations, guys. Pokemon's 25th anniversary set. I know a lot of you guys have been still having a hard time finding celebrations out at the stores. So we're giving away this Zacian Deluxe Pin Collection here on the channel. And if you want your full entry details, make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video. But... While you're here, drop a sub, guys. We post Pokemon content three times per week here on the channel. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you hit that notification bell, you will not miss any. Plus, we have random bonus videos throughout the week and shorts where we do our pack rips. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Here at number five, these are the cards that you want to find inside your Fusion Strike products. I'm going with... Who would have thought the very first Mew to don itself on the list, the Rainbow Mew. This card is absolutely stunning. It is so beautiful. It's the only solo Rainbow Mew that we've gotten so far in the entire print run of Pokemon TCG. We did get the Rainbow Mew Mewtwo Tag Team back in Unified Minds, which that card is still pushing over $100. So that shows you the staying power of Mew. If you guys watch any of my Pokemon investment videos, you know I have key features that I call facts that you need to work on when you're building a Pokemon collection. And Fan Favorites is on there, and Mew is definitely a fan favorite, and he anchors this entire set. So getting that Rainbow Mew is going to be huge. I think it's going to be a very rare card here in the set, and it might even outpace some of the alternate arts at the end of the day, but maybe those will be later on the list as well. And moving on down the list, the only evolution to make it to the Fusion Strike checklist, that is the Espeon VMAX alternate art. Most of the other evolutions scoured their way into Evolving Skies, and then the three Kanto boys that we all love are getting their own separate boxes later on here in release in Q4. But Espeon being neglected from evolving skies can actually be a good thing for this particular card because it's not going to get lost in the shuffle of those evolutions so it being in its own set i think could really boost the value of this card and on top of that i think the espion v max also may be like the forgotten boy again here in this set when you look at the other alternate arts that we have like the mew and the gengar and all this stuff I think Espeon is not really going to be in the forefront of people's chases, but it should be because, in my opinion, it is going to be one of the top five most expensive cards in this set, especially early on. Who would have thought Fusion Strike? There's another Mew here on the list, guys. I'm going with the Mew V alternate art. I actually prefer this art over the VMAX, but I don't think it's going to carry as much of value. So it's here at number three on the list. But again, guys, Mew is going to dominate this list and it's going to dominate this set. Everybody's going to want the Mews. It's kind of like the Rayquaza of Evolving Skies, right? So everybody wanted those Rayquaza cards. Fusion Strike is the same thing, but for Mew. Everybody wants those Mew cards and they don't get me wrong. They are beautiful. There's 
the V, the V Max, the full art, the rainbow, the V alternate art, and the V Max alternate art. Six different Mews in this set. Now that is amazing, and I'm going to want every single one of them. I'm going to want multiple copies of every single one of them. But for now, the V, the regular V alternate art Mew comes in at number three here on the list. We have made it up to that number two slot that runner-up position here on the metal stand and it's actually one of the most expensive alternate art japanese releases the gengar v max alternate art we weren't sure when this card was going to be coming to english and now we have our answer this card is stunning it carried a very hefty price point when we thought it was going to be a Japanese exclusive, but lo and behold, here it is. They're giving it to us here in Fusion Strike, and it is number two here on my list. I love this card so much. The artwork is so quirky and so phenomenal. It's like uh, Gengar in its G-Max form, which is probably my favorite G-Max in all of Sword and Shield. It is absolutely phenomenal. Whoever came up with the G-Max design of Gengar, hats off to you. Big kudos. And here on the card in particular, the artwork is great. I think a lot of people are going to be hunting this card. Uh, but it's not number one, so let's go ahead and dive right in. But before that, here are some honorable mentions. All right, guys, there's a couple of honorable mentions that I want to get into before I give you guys number one here on the list, which I know you guys are not going to be surprised at number one. You probably saw it coming, but here on honorable mentions, I'm going to go with both V alternate arts, respectively, for Genesect and Celebi. The Celebi artwork is just great it is such a phenomenal artwork i love it so much it's probably my favorite artwork actually in the entire set even over the gengar gengar is my second favorite artwork um but the celebi is just such a fantastic like it has like this dark like evil scent to it but at the same token it's just celebi one of the cutest pokemon in the entire game so it's absolutely phenomenal and then the genesect v um, I wanted to put it higher on this list because you guys know it's breakdancing, right? So it's like a really cool, funny breakdancing Pokemon. I'm not sure I like my Pokemon cards in particular, like this cartoony and this quirky to where like Genesect is literally just breakdancing. Like, cool, that's funny. I get it's a kid's TCG, but Genesect deserves a little bit more respect than just to being the funny clown of the class. So, but those are my two honorable mentions. They're going to be super chase cards. People are going to be looking for them as well. But let's get in to number one. And I know you guys are very surprised here at number one. Charting the charts. Topping the charts. Here is the Mew VMAX alternate art already as of today because the building battles did come out last week, last Friday. It's already some up on TCG Player and eBay, and this card is already going for in between $150 and $200. This is going to be the Kuta Gra of this Fusion Strike set, and it's a phenomenal set in my opinion. I do think this set is going to be overlooked by a lot of collectors and investors because celebrations just happened, which of course, is going to be a more sought-after set in the future down the road. And then we also have a whole shift in the Pokemon TCG when Brilliant Star comes out on February 25th, where we're getting a whole new set of, like, V-Star cards, and Charizard makes his return as well. Plus, Arceus comes in with the double release of Brilliant Star and Legends Arceus game on the Nintendo Switch. I really think Fusion Strike is going to be looked over big time by a lot of people and i also wouldn't be surprised if the pokemon company does a very short print run on fusion strike just like they did with cosmic eclipse a couple of years ago i really expect this set to have great hits great cards good investment value and it's going to be more rare to find than evolving skies brilliant star and all those other sets down the road because i think it's going to get the shortest print run that we've had in the entire sword and shield era so that's my opinion on that. But anyway, VMAX Mew, the artwork is just okay for me. But the fact that it's an alternate art VMAX Mew is going to put it at the top of the chart. I actually prefer the V artwork a little bit better, like I said earlier. But let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think? What is your number one chase card for Fusion Strike? And which Mew do you prefer? Do you prefer the Rainbow? the V alternate art or the V max alternate art, because I would not be surprised if the rainbow rare actually, actually 
carries quite a bit more value than we think, and it's going to compete for that number one slot. Um, and if it doesn't, I'm going to be buying every single Rainbow Mew on the entirety of the internet. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today on the top five. I was going to do this, but that's ten. Top five cards from the newest Pokemon TCG set, Fusion Strike, that is coming out today. Make sure you guys go to your local LGSs. Go to Walmart. Go to Target. Go to GameStop. See if you can pick up some Fusion Strike. I definitely think it's going to be a little bit easier to obtain than Celebrations was because I think a lot of people are just going to be burnt out, guys. I really do. I think a lot of people are burnt out on Celebrations. I think the scalpers went heavy, heavy, hard, hard on Celebrations. They might tone it back a notch for Fusion Strike because the hype is definitely not the same as the 25th anniversary set. But let me know in the comment sections, what is your chase card and are you excited for Fusion Strike? But I know the real reason why you guys are still sticking around. You want the entry details for that Zation box. Hey, you've waited long enough. Here they are, right now. Thank you guys so much everybody for sticking tuned to the end of today's video. I love giving back to my Pokemon TCG subscribers here on TCG Funhouse. We've been doing monthly giveaways for a very, very long time here on the channel and we're gonna continue to do that. We're giving away an amazing Pokemon TCG Celebrations 25th Anniversary Zation Pin Collection. Four Celebrations Booster Packs, one Chilling Rain Pack, one Vivid Voltage Pack, the beautiful Zation Level X card, and this really cool Pikachu Flying and Surfing Pin. It's a dope pin that you can change to either surfing or flying, whatever mood that you're in. I know a lot of you guys are still having a hard time finding Pokemon Celebrations out at the stores, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to give it out to you guys and give back for all the love and support that you guys do. You only have to do a couple of things to get an entry for today's video, and that's you must be a subscriber here on TCG Funhouse, you must leave a thumbs up on this video, and you must leave a comment below. You can comment anything that you want. Usually in my videos, I ask a question or I ask you guys to make a statement about what the video topic was. That is what I would like to hear because I love chatting back and forth with you guys. I respect your guys' opinion and I just love getting your side and your ideology on the Pokemon TCG. Now, also keep in mind, you can get an entry for every single video for the month of November. One entry per video, but we do at least three videos a week here on the channel, sometimes four if we feel feisty and do an unboxing. At four videos a week, four weeks in the month, you're looking at 16 entries and 16 shots at being the winner of this Zation pin collection if you guys hit that notification bell and don't miss out on any of our videos. That being said, thank you guys so much. I'll see you around.